Valentine's Manny. This one's a little bit more traditional, all sorts of red involved, um, but it is some of my absolute favorite sets. So, um, this one I don't remember the name of, but this is a Sally Henson set here with the skull and crossbones and then the hearts. Um, super cute. I've done it before for a non-Valentine's <laughs> time just because. Um, then we have some Carmine Shine going on. Best red ever. Um, and then we have um, some Love Shack. Um, and Between the Lines and No Holding Black and a strip of Crantastic. So we got a lot going on. Um, we're gonna, sorry, I needed a sip of water. All right, so we're gonna have some fun with this. Um, hi, by the way, I'm Heather. If you're new here, I am a um, Color Street stylist, but moreover, I am a nail addict and I use all different kinds of strips, not just Color Street. So, um, thank you for stopping by if you're new. If you're um, returning, y'all know what you're in for. So, thank you for coming back. All right, we're going to go ahead and get going on this, baby. Um, all right, so we're going to put down our first layer. Um, we've got our little skull and crossbone strip here. Um, oh man, I hope it's not crispy. The tab like broke right off. The Sally Henson sets are a bit, oh, son of a booger. <laughs> it broke completely. No. Uh, All right, we're gonna turn on the heating mat. So that'll help a little. Um, uh, I did not want to take out the other set. Now I'm gonna to have to. Dang it. All right. <laughs> let's try this again. Uh, let's see, so these are how the Sally Henson sets come. They come in these little blister packs. Um, and there is two packs usually per box. Um, some people, you buy them from, you get the whole box. Some people sell the individual blister packs. Um, depends on where you buy them. Um, so, and they are older sets. Let me see. I just pulled that off. I didn't look at the number on the back here. Let's see. So... This is probably 2000 and 2002, maybe? 2012. Probably 2012, sorry. Um, so, pretty old set. Um, hence, it just broke on us. Um, we're going to see if this pack is any better. Let's hope. Because I already planned this whole thing out based on using this. <laughs> Um, you do usually have to be pretty gentle with these strips because they are so old. I often have to like pull them off really slowly because they'll get stuck around the edges sometimes and things like that. So let's see. Let's see. I'm going to use the baby pinky one first here to see if it's any good. Oh, it's feeling crispy already. <laughs> All right. Let's let's leave this little guy sitting here on the mat to warm up. Um, since I opened this pack, I'm gonna take the second thumb, the second big thumb out, um, and then and then and then and then we're going to pull out the other one that we opened, and we'll take out the other baby pinky, and maybe we can use those instead. Let's see what happens. So, um, I mean, I could use the other, the bigger pinky in this pack too, but I kind of want to see if I can save those now. Come on. There you go. 
you get started heating up there, little guys. All right, and we'll throw these in this stuff and put it away. And then we'll just do the carmine shine fingers first and let these guys sit on the heating pad for a little bit, see if that helps. It may not do anything, but we're gonna try it. We'll see what happens. What am I looking for? A pack. I'm looking for a sleeve. That's what I was looking for. A new sleeve to put these in. Um, this is what happens though sometimes. I mean, sometimes you get old strips and they are perfection. Sometimes you get them and they're dried out. It depends on how they were stored. Um, you know, all there, there's an, any number of things that can affect older strips. So it's always a gamble when you're using a, a set that's this old. I mean, so let's see. Okay, that's sealed up. We'll leave these guys here for now. And let's do this finger. This finger is three layers anyway, so maybe it's better we start with this. All right, so I was gonna put the Carmine Shine on my ring fingers and my middle fingers as the accent. So we're gonna put that one down. God, I love this set. This color is like, oh, it's such a good red, such a good red. It's like a nice, perfect, true red color. If you've never used it, you should. It's awesome. Um, it's one of my favorite reds. It's actually from this fall season. I kind of hope they keep it around. I hope they don't get rid of it in the next season release, whatever comes out. I know they're going to do something different now. They're going to be doing like um, one catalog, I think, and then just like updates with the season. So I don't know. Maybe it'll stay around. I hope. I would like to see it stay around. It should be. A, it should be a set that's around all the time. It's a perfect red. I just love a good true red color. Like, it's so friggin' pretty. You can't, I mean... I don't think you can go wrong with a good red. So I decided I'm probably gonna try and alternate doing like kind of a traditional Valentine's Manny color and non-traditional um, colors. Just, I don't know. I'm feeling the let's do something different this year. So um, I'm going to try out a bunch of different colors, I think, um, and try and make them, you know, like a Valentine's theme. Where are my nippers? They're there. So we're going to do a lot more of that, I think, over the next couple of weeks. Like I said, we'll just kind of go back and forth, do something traditional for the traditional gals, and then something non-traditional for the non-traditional gals, because I know there's more of you out there. Um, all right. So we're going to... Put this down, and we're gonna do the between the lines over it. Oh my lord almighty, come off the strip already. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, it's been a week. It's been a week, you know? Been sick all week. I'm starting to feel better, so that's good. Um, I'm still a little stuffy, as you can hear because my voice sounds like very odd, but um, I am starting to feel better. Um, but it's been a crazy week at work. Today was like 
a whole lot of insanity. I felt like everything that could go wrong went wrong, you know? Um, <clears throat> so, it's been a week. <laughs> and, of course, it's gonna start out with my strips not doing what they were supposed to. I'm so sad that these strips are crunchy because um, the last set that I used was perfection. Like I had to peel them off slow. Like I said, you have to, it's just the way it is. It's an old set. It, you've got to be, you got to be gentle with it. Um, but it was nice and pliable and sticky and everything. It was not, not like these ones. So um, I am very sad because I really like this set and I don't want to use a different one to do it if I don't have to. But if we have to, we have to, right? Not much we can do. If anybody makes jewelry out of dried out strips, <laughs> these would be super cute to use. Um, can you see some jewelry with the hearts and the skulls and crossbones? I can. Mm -hmm. I would buy that. Sorry, concentrating, I'm trying to get this little tiny bit here. Hold on. Ugh. There we go. Oh my goodness, come on. Are all of these strips gonna give me a hard time now today, huh? Is this pick on Heather Day? <laughs> Here's my my little teeny broken nail. Ugh. Makes me sad. Because it was growing in. And then I broke it on the stupid trash can. This is why I don't do trash. I have boys. They're supposed to do the trash, but... If I leave the trash cans by the curb until they get home, I'll end up blowing into the street and get hit by a car. And So I brought the dang trash cans in and broke my nail. All right. <sighs> one little piece on this one, too. Dang it. When it gets like this, I just need it close to my face so I can see what I'm doing. That's what happens when you get old, like me. Yeah. All right, so now we've got that. We're gonna do between the lines. This one was also a resealed one, so I hope. Be nice to me, be nice to me, I like you. Please don't be crispy. <laughs> Ah, beautiful. Love it. Okay. Now, I was trying to decide if I want to do the strip like as it is, or do I want to turn it sideways and do the lines up and down? I think I want them up and down. All right. Because actually the set that I had originally been thinking about using for this was um, Sakura Festival, because I wanted the stripes, um, but I also wanted some traditional Valentine color in it. So, you know, some like pink or red, but I could, and I know somewhere I have a resealed set and I wanted to just use the one that I had resealed, but I cannot find it. So, I moved on to this set um, instead. But on Secure Festival, they have the strips that have these up and down stripes. And that was what I was thinking about. Because So I sent a um, friend the link to my um, YouTube page. And that on my um, profile, if you've 
never looked at it. It the picture is a manicure I did for Halloween. Um, and I had Boo Crew um coming in hot. Um I used um no holding black. And so I had the no holding black over the stripy nails of Boo Crew. Right? So I was like, oh, that looks good. I want to do something like that again. But I want to do it as a Valentine's themed one this time. So it was um, my first thought was Sakura Festival because I knew I had that has the stripy ones and then it's got some flowers and all sorts of fun bits going on in it, right? And then I was gonna put no holding black over it. Um but alas, I could not find her, and I did not want to open a new set. <laughs> I do have them. I have I have a mini hoard of Sakura Festival because it is I mean if you've ever used it, you know. It's like the bomb. It's the best. It's an awesome set. Um, so I do have a mini hoard of it. And, you know, it's called a hoard for a reason. <laughs> they don't usually use the word hoard when you're using something. So I couldn't bring myself to open it. So I said, okay, let's, let's make a similar effect with other strips that you have readily available in open packages. So the only new package that I opened was our lovely skull and crossbone and hearts. Um, <laughs> and it figures the one set that I actually did open is not, not doing so hot. All right, this is the only thing about using strips sideways is the cleanup is a freaking, you know what, I'm not gonna say the word, I'm good in trouble, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a pain in the tuchus to clean up when you do a sideways strip, but, 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 it is usually worth it, and I would say that gorgeous nail is worth it. What do you think? Yeah, I know. It's worth it. So, yeah. All right. Let's get all that crud out of there so we can clean up the other one. All right. So then um, my thought is I'm going to put a little crantastic heart down. And then we're going to put no holding black over it. So we're gonna have three layers on this nail, but that's okay. Um, it's not gonna be too thick, I don't think, because the overlays, I feel like, tend to be on the thinner side. So putting two overlays doesn't really like make it too horribly thick or anything, you know? So, yeah. I know, I can't remember who said it, but some one of you commented that you cringe when you watch me use the nippers to clean up because you think I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I clip a little too much, but you know. I have so much like dry skin around my fingers, it's kind of not a problem. Yes, I am still listening. I hate when it does that. Like, I just turned on the video, and then YouTube goes, are you still watching? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still watching. I just turned it on a couple of minutes ago. How many minutes are we at? 20 minutes ago, to be precise, and it wants to know if I'm still watching. Oh, silliness. Although, I guess that's good if, it, if I was using this music to sleep, which it's like a kind of soothing background music that I have on at the moment. Um, so I guess if I was using it to help me fall asleep, I would appreciate that because then it would shut off rather quickly if I fell asleep to it already. 
you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Oh my God. It's so good. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. All right. Now, the question, should we do the other one the right way? Or should we do it sideways? No, we're doing it sideways. I like it too much. We're doing it sideways. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one if, if the if these little babies come back to life for me. Come back to life. It will give you CPR. <laughs> Oh my God, I almost put it the wrong way because I'm goofing around. All right. I don't know what it is about a vertical stripe that is so good, but it's so friggin' good. Oh my goodness. It's just good. Like, I mean... Look at that. Oh. If you cannot see how amazing that is in the camera, I am sorry because it's friggin' amazing and your life is less, less rich now because you can't see it. <laughs> I hope it's translating in the camera because that's just friggin' awesome. It's good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. You guys are used to me geeking out over my own nails at this point, I think. <sighs> Ooh, there we go. I got that side down without having it go over the edge. Little less cleanup. Yay! Oh, God. I love it. It's so friggin' good. Mm. Look at that. As long as you can look at it and not see like prison stripes. Oh my God, so good. Although prison stripes go the other way, don't they? I don't know. I've never worn a prison uniform, so I don't really know. But as long as you can look at stripes and not see that, I mean, like, this is just the bomb. I love it. I'm very happy I turned them sideways. It was a good call. Good call, Heather. Good call. All right. Now... So the reason I pulled out um, Crantastic to do the heart is because um, I wanted it to be a very different color from Carmine. Because I thought at first, okay, well, let's take out another strip of Carmine shine, right? Make me a heart. But then I was like, eh, no, because then it's going to not show up. The only part that would show up would be over the stripe, right? And that would be no good. So we're going to do a completely different red color and some glitter because lord there is not enough glitter in the universe we can always use some more glitter okay apparently someone forgot to tell them that when they made the sub box <laughs> oh it's late heather should be in bed she's getting punchy um yeah, I can always use some glitter in my life. Love it. And Crantastic glitter. Ugh. I'm I'm assuming if you've used Color Street for any amount of time, you've used Crantastic before. It is like the sparkle in it, the micro glitter, and it has like orange and pink glitter in it. Oh my, it's... You, 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 you should know by now. You must have used it at least once. Everybody's ended up with a Crantastic Tuesday at one time. If you haven't bought an entire set of it. All right. So we're going to do a... Oh, my God. I need to go to bed. 
I can't even like use my hands properly anymore here. Okay. So we're gonna put it like off to the side a little bit. There we go. Okay. So it's not like super whoa, like in your face, right? But it's a little, little something, something. It's cute. Um, got a little stripe over here. A wayward stripe that doesn't belong. Okay. So we're going to do that on all four of our Carmine Shine stripey nails. Then we are going to pray to the nail polish gods that our other strips are more usable now. Um, after sitting on this deliciously warm mat for a little while. Oh, oh, cutie heart. Love it. Oh my lord. Okay, Heather, these are not even the tiny hearts. Like, you should be able to do this. <laughs> there we go. Another wayward stripe off the edge that's not supposed to be there. So these are kind of the art fingers. So this is the longest part of the manicure. Hopefully the rest of it will go quickly. And our other strips are gonna be all happy and compliant now that they're warm and toasty. We're gonna pray. All right, now, so now we did that part. Now we're gonna do our third layer. of No Holding Black, another strip that like, oh, for the, it's so good. Like this needs to be a permanent fixture as well. Cause this is like what I, I've used this for so many different sets and it goes with everything. Like there's really nothing that it doesn't go with except for Midnight in Manhattan. And only because it's black, so you can't see the black sparkles. Otherwise, I would go with that too, because it's just perfection. Absolute perfection. Love it. Oof. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm not holding out hope for these strips because they're still, like, bending upwards, which makes me feel like they're not getting any softer. Hmm. I might have to cry a little. And then we're gonna have to figure out a different set to use for the rest of our nails. And I don't wanna do that. I don't even know what I would use. This was already the second choice set. I mean, can I really go to a third at this point? Especially with these type of strips where they have the big glitter, you want to use your clippers. You do not want to use your nail um, or your file because you can rip out the, if there's any like big pieces at the edge, which there was with this one, um, it'll like rip the glitter out and then you can rip the strip and it's no fun. So you always want to use nippers on the big glitter. Micro glitter, nah, you can use anything, but the big glitter, you need a, you need a good nip to cut the pieces in half rather than them ripping out of the strip. I just love the set. Like, you know what I think of when I see it is pepper. 
It's like sprinkling some pepper all over your nails, giving it a little spice. I know it takes away from some of the design, but I think it's worth it. I don't know, do I wanna leave it off the middle finger? No, no, we don't have enough glitter yet. There's never enough. We're just gonna do it, just do it. Oh my God, get off of them. I hate the little plastic bits that they never wanna go in the garbage can, even though it's like um, staticky, this garbage can thing is like, it's that like, it's rubbery stuff that's like, it's staticky. So it should actually like grab the plastic bit and like pull it in almost, but it doesn't sometimes. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see this in a nail fee because I bet you it's not coming across on camera the way it is in real life because it's just one of those things I can tell like it's not going to be a, I don't know, I don't think it's going to really show um, how friggin awesome it is on camera. It might, but uh, I don't know. sometimes things just don't come across well um, in video, but then you know, a properly lighted nail fee is, it just shows all the gorgeousness that is really going on there. So, I can't wait for you guys to see the nail fees of it at the end. It's going to be pretty. All right. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to pick those other ones up now and try them. I want them to work. I am putting an overlay over them, so even if they're a little, like, hard still, I'm gonna put an overlay. It'll, it'll, it'll help. So, I'm just praying that they're at least usable now. Because this mat is so nice and toasty. Oh my gosh. So nice and warm. My other desk for, that I use for work, because I work from home, um, is over on the other side of this room, but it's like in, it's like a corner desk, because I have, I have three monitors, like I need, you know, a lot of space on that desk. Um, and it's a corner desk, and it's actually in the corner between two windows. I have this big old like bay window kind of thing and it's it doesn't it's it's very drafty so I've been cold like all day because <laughs> I work um 12 hour days on the weekends so like I've been sitting at that desk all day and I've been cold all day so sitting here on this lovely warm mat oh and that tells you my priorities right I put the warming mat on my nail desk, <laughs> not my work desk. That's ridiculously cold. <laughs> oh, oh God, they're so, I don't think these are gonna stick. Come on. Nope. Oh, biscuit, what am I gonna use instead? I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause and come back because I need to think about what I'm going to use. And this video would be like three hours long if I sit here and think while I'm recording. So I'm going to pause for a minute. I will be right back at y'all. All right. So I decided to go pink on the others. Why not? So I'm going to use the set from the sub box, Hopeless Romantic, the art set that was in there. We're going to use that. And we're still going to use the um, Love Shack glitter overlay because it's red. So it'll help to tie into the red here. Um, so hopefully it'll help bring out the red in the strip and kind of tie it in with those, those ones. So that is my plan. Um, we're going to we're gonna just cross our fingers and hope it works, I guess. Um, 
Man, okay, I do, oh, there we go. There's a heart one. I was like, I wanted one of the heart strips. I didn't want them all to be just swirlies. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do that. That looks good. Is this the envelope I had them in? I swear the envelope I had them in had their name on it. Maybe I cut off the name part, let's see. If I can fit these back in here or if I need a new one. Oh, they fit. They fit. And I've got just enough space to seal. All right. All right, we'll see how this looks. This is not, not what I was intending, so. But hopefully it'll still be cute. I mean, I have other things. I could have gone through like the mountain of sets that I have and found something, but this one was quickly accessible. I had it out from recently using the sub box kit. So I just grabbed it and went with it. We'll see how it looks. Of course, because these are out of the sub box, they are nice and fresh and pliable and pretty. How do we... Oh God, I don't think I like it with the. <laughs> I don't know. You, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to keep going with it. Once the little sparkle glitter things are down on it, it's going to look totally different. Um. I mean, it's a cute set. It's not the set that's the problem. I'm just, um, the, with the kind of stripey alternative males that I already have done, this is more, a lot more traditional Valentine than those nails, but it'll work. Once I have the glitter on there, it'll be... They'll, they'll look good together, I think. I hope. I was so excited about this one. <laughs> Stinky strips that didn't work. Ruin my day. I mean, like, on its own, this is super cute. But, oh, God, I don't know. These, like, does it match? It doesn't, I don't know. I don't know if it matches, but. Um, it's gonna have to because it's on there now, and I am not. I am not doing this over again. <laughs> I hate having to clean up the other side, Pinky. It's a pain in the buttocks. I know why they do it, but I wish this pinky had the same on both sides because most people, the bigger side of it, it doesn't fit. I can use it on my pointer, but then the pinky and pointer have to be the same, and I don't always want that. So, um, depends on what you're doing, you know? And then the small pinky, I can only use the the one side. The bigger side of the small pinky is the only one that works. It doesn't, um, the smaller side doesn't work for me. All right, you know what? I'm going to put, I'm going to put the glitter over the pinky so that we can see how it looks. Because if I don't like it, I'm not going to go through all the fingers. I will pause again and pull out another set. <laughs> So let's see how, see if the glitter helps it. These feel like they might be a little dry too. <sighs> this is what I get for trying to use resealed sets and. Yeah, these are a little dry, but they're still sticky at least. So I can work with that. 
I can work with that. Again, we have the larger glitters, so we want to nip it, not use our fingernail so that we don't rip out any of the glitter. <sighs> nope, I hate it. I'll be back. Hold on. All right, I think we are at our final destination now. I, I did come back on um, and tried to do um, Hopeless Romantic from the sub box. And it's a adorable set, but it did not, did not go with what we already have going on. So I stopped again. <laughs> Re, uh, revamped again and now so we're kind of doing a full-on like rocker chick kind of thing here with the zebra print and the stripes on the other nails so these ones are not dried out but as most of the Sally Henson ones are they're sticking to <sighs> damn it they're sticking to the backing and I'm ripping them. This is just not my, my day for nails. <laughs> I should have just gone to bed. <laughs> for the Pete's sake. Mm. All right, so we're gonna use the big pinky. We'll put this little guy back. We'll use him for something else at some point in our, once we've forgotten the trauma of this whole event. <laughs> we will use him for something else eventually. Um, anyway, so we're going to go kind of rock a chick. Zebra, stripes, red. I think it's cute. I'm pleased with it as long as we can get the strips to come off the backing without ripping. It should proceed well. I know, I probably shouldn't have gone with another Sally Henson set, right? But I mean, look at this. The zebra is like, mm. I flipped through all my stuff and my booklets and I was like, oh, no, I need the zebra. I need it. It's it's too dang cute. All right, so we're going to do this very carefully. Plus, I wanted to show you that even if you have some difficulties like we are with this, you can do it. It's just it's just going to take a little bit more work than normal. So, we're going to have to gently Peel it away from the edge. Usually, once you get it going away from the edge, you can get the rest of it off easier. But you have to kind of. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't seal that yet because I'm probably going to use the other pinky this size because we're gonna we're gonna destroy the top of it but the bottom half is what fits my pinky anyways so I'm trying to be very gentle but it's not easy we go I think I 
think we've got it coming away better now. It looks like a torn and tattered mess, but I think we can still make it work. <laughs> the plastic stuck to me. These are still sticky, at least, unlike the other ones. So I should be able to make it work. There we go. See, I think that was worth it. <laughs> it was a pain in the tuchus, but I think that was worth it. Look at that prettiness. I'm trying to think if we have anything, any color street that is that. Um, I think there was one quite a while back. I mean, we have the overlay that, that is this pattern, but like an actual like zebra stripe or tiger stripe, however, depending on how you look at it. I don't think that we have like this. Um, there was one a while back that has like a multiple animal print. I don't know what it's called. I've never actually had it in person, but um, it had like some zebra-y looking strips and then it also had um, some like um, leopard spotted kind of prints too. Um, and it looked like it had a little bit of blue in it, if I'm remembering it correctly. I've seen it in like the, you know, the D stash groups and stuff, and it looks really cute, but it's not a full, like, just black and white leopard like this is, or black and white zebra, excuse me. Got leopard print on the brain now. Um, so I don't know that there's an actual color street set like this. Maybe in one of the other off, you know, like maybe in Coco did one, I'm not sure. They always seem to do the really extra cool prints in the Coco stuff. Ugh. Okay, we're getting there. No, 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 no. No, don't do it. Don't you dare. You little booger. You're almost there. Come on. Work with me here. Work with me here. Be nice. So. Yeah, this is one of those things like the um, multi-dimensional nail, fussy, but most likely worth it in the end. <laughs> oh, son of a... <sighs> Alright, let's see if I trim this part off. Let's see how that works. Because it's still thicker at that point than it is at this end. And I need the slightly thicker part for my pinky nail. Or wider part, I mean, not thicker. Nope, it didn't work. Okay, but we can, we can, we can do this. It'll work. Just take this and kind of line it with some of the lines there. And it won't look 
too bad, especially once we get the overlay on there. <sighs> Are you ready to give up on me yet? You're saying this manicure is hopeless. It's not yet, not yet. Probably gonna take me like 12 hours to do it, but it's not hopeless yet. I refuse to give up on it. Okay. Now let's see how this looks with the glitter over it. And what I found out when I came back on for a minute and tried out the Hopeless Romantic is that these are a little stiff, but they are still sticky, so they work. I don't think I even have like a new set of this one. If I wanted to use a new, you know, like a, oh, a new unopened one. So we're sticking with what we got here. Oh yeah, that's so much better. So much better than the, um, it just didn't, it didn't, the um, Hopeless Romantic did not go right with what I already had started. This, that's, that matches to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy because we've got like um, horizontal and vertical stripes going now. It's a little crazy, bipolar, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's good. especially with that red glitter over it. I think that just like pulls it together. You know what I mean? I don't know. I might be crazy. You know, take that back. I am crazy. We know this. It's all right. But crazy's fun sometimes. Normal can be boring. I don't want to be boring. So, I'll be crazy. Y'all can join me if you'd like in my lovely little padded cell with my straight jacket. We'll have a party. <laughs> It'll be fun. We'll do each other's nails. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like that. And once I get some top coat on that overlay, it'll be like brand new. A couple little sparkles that need nipped there. Okay, now let's hope this one comes off easier because we need it for two fingers. Again, I can pull out another one. I didn't bother sealing it up yet because I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. Sorry. Oh gosh, come on. So the first time that I used the um, it's colon crossbones and heart strips. This is kind of, this is what it was like. I had to do this for all of the strips. I had to kind of guide them off and it was not fun, but it was such a cute mani. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know if I ever took nail fees of that one. I should have if I didn't because it came out so cute. But it was super fussy and it took forever because I had to very gingerly and carefully take the strips off like this. Let's try doing this. Let's pull it off one side and go to the other. See if that works better. Oh, the struggle is real. What I will do for a good manicure. Dang it, that's not working out very well either. There we go, now it's coming off a little better. We're definitely gonna have to take out another pointer finger strip because we're only getting one finger out of this for sure. Sticking to my tweezers. There we go. Okay. That was a little better. All right. So some of the Sally Henson ones are not like this, depending on how old they are. The really old ones like this, because I think this one is also like a a 2012 model here. Um, they're like this, but the ones that are a little bit newer are not as bad. You know, it's been sitting around for a long time. Um, these are as old as my middle child. <laughs> That's a long time. Um, so they're a little, they're a little fussy in their old age and, you know, I'm going to mess around with them a bit, but I think that is gorge and worth the pain of getting these stupid strips off the backing. <laughs> All right, throw that one away. What is this? This is trash. Trash. These are all trash over here because these are all like dried up and crusty. So we're just throwing them away. All right. I've got a, too much of a mess going on over here. I need a little quick little cleanup sesh here. All right. Let's get out another pointer. Can you stay? And you come with me. All right, I think I'm going to try this one doing it from the side like I did on the other one. It seemed to work out better. So let's see. All right, this side seems to want to stick, so let's go to this side and see how much we can get off without it ripping. And then pull it across. <laughs> oh, for the love of it. Are you guys like as annoyed with it as I am already? <laughs> Are you like, just give up? Just give up already, Heather. This is too much. Just stop. But I refuse. I refuse to give up. This is this is just a well-aged beauty here. Well-aged little beauty of a strip. And she deserves to be worn still. She just doesn't like to be manhandled. You gotta be gentle. I'm being gentle. Come on. Work with me here. Okay. I think I think we almost 
almost got this one off. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, there we go. All right, now I think we can pull it across and get the rest off without. Yay! Sorry. I think we're getting the process down now. <laughs> Getting a little better at it. Okay. And actually, this design, um, like, it kind of, it works okay with it being a little warped because it's the kind of design it is. It's a little warped. So, like, the bits that are a little bit messed up actually kind of go like they should be that way, you know? Just take this bit right here and move it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, I think that's cute. I like it. And that's probably what matters, right? Sorry, this is going to be another long video I'm trying to mess around with these but I want you guys on board for the struggle with me so I'm gonna keep filming you can always fast forward if you want to the end and just see what it looks like right all right let's get a little more sparkle in our lives I'm not sure which is harder to work with. These ones that are like a little stiff because they're dried out a bit or these that are like overly gooey and a hot mess express. Because the dried out ones tend to make wrinkles because they're dry and they want to not stick. But as you can see, those ones are not doing so hot either. So I don't know which one's worse. But I'm telling you, wait until we get some top coat on these babies and you see the nail phase, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, Heather, you were right. All the fuss, all of the drama was worth it. You'll see. All right, let's clip these guys. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to get some top coat on those ones right now because I want the strip to start sticking right now. I don't want it to come off on me. So let's do that real quick. I'm using my Orly Glosser. I like this one a lot. It's good. It's a good top coat. Makes it nice and shiny. Don't tend to have shrinkage with it. So I like it. So what I'll do with these sometimes when you have a strip that's a little dried out. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> and you have a strip that's a little dried out. If you put your top coat on and kind of go around your edges, you can smooth out some of those wrinkles that you may have gotten because the strip is dry. And then um, when you put the second layer, I usually do two coats of top coat. So when I put my second layer of top coat, it'll even out any little 
bits that I may have made by putting my um, cuticle pusher here into fresh top coat. So that's a little trick for when you're and you've got a strip that you want to use, but it's a little bit on the dry side. <laughs> or for a strip that isn't dried out and you've got a wrinkle, sometimes you can use your cuticle pusher and kind of smooth it out once you have some top coat on it. <laughs> So this was not intended to be a how to deal with difficult strips video, but it's kind of turning into that. So I guess that's good. Maybe I'll give you guys some insight that you didn't have before, hopefully. <laughs> and if not, well, you came along on a crazy ride with me and it was fun watching me struggle on the struggle bus over here. <laughs> I know you guys can't really see in the camera what the top coat is doing to it, but it just, it makes it so that it's like a regular strip, you know, and it just, you can flatten out any of those little bits that aren't working. Because it makes it sticky and whatnot. And then once I put on a second layer, it'll be all nice and smooth and shiny, too. I think I've got a little too much built up on there. All right. <laughs> On the pointer fingers, the tip like is really kind of sticking up. So I want to get that smoothed down. And then I can seal it with my second coat around the tip so that it doesn't lift on me or anything. <laughs> while we're doing our thumbs and then we'll put a second coat on those ones to make them perfection. All right, now the thumbs. Let's hope we can get these off a little bit easier. Let's see what happens here. You know what? I wonder if I do, let's try this. Let's see if we can take it off with the plastic on the front. Can we get it off the backing a little better? <gasps> oh, yes. So normally you would not want to take your strip off with the plastic bit on the front, right? But in this case, it worked out quite well because now I got it off with minimal rippage and I'm going to put it down and then we will peel off the plastic. Hopefully, we will peel off the plastic. There we go. Okay. And then, because it's already down on the nail, it should just stay on the nail and not come up with the plastic, I hope. Okay. Whew. All right. That worked well. Okay. 
that was so much easier than all of the ridiculousness that I was doing to get them off before. Oh my gosh. I wish I had thought of that um, two fingers ago. <laughs> okay, that worked well. Yeah, so normally never ever leave the plastic on, but sometimes, so like if you're gonna, um, I will sometimes take if I'm going to do two layers, like an overlay and the, um, a base strip, I will take the overlay off with the plastic on, right? Put it down on top of my base strip with the plastic off the base strip. And then you could put it on in all in one piece. So like there are certain instances where leaving the plastic on could be a good thing. Um... And apparently this is one of those, one of those things that leaving the plastic on helped us. Love it. Okay. Okay. So let's try it again. Fingers crossed, ladies, that it works as well the second time here. silver part detached there. Okay. Still gonna pull very slowly because we don't want the edges to stick, but they're sticking less with the plastic than they are without it. So there we go. Okay. There we go. Yay. Okay, that was good. See, this is fun. We're finding out all sorts of new stuff. <laughs> that worked really well. All right, now I know that for future fussy sets that leaving the plastic on may be our friend. I have so many, so, so many Sally Henson sets because they're just, I mean, the designs in them are so freaking good. I actually used the Sally Henson years and years and years before I ever discovered Color Street. And I didn't know, you know, anything about it that, you know, there was some other person behind it making it, you know, that it wasn't technically like Sally Henson, whatever, you know, um, cause they have a lot of other products, not just the nail strips, but, um, like I used it. It was, a, um, it was a leopard print one. And, oh God, it was so good. But then I, um, I ended up doing my nails like at a salon again, and I just never tried them again. Now I kind of wish I had all those years ago. Maybe I would have discovered Color Street sooner and saved my nails. A lot of torture. All right. I think this is good. It's it's even better than what I was originally planning, I think. So, uh-oh. <laughs> Did I? Okay, I swear I had two of these glitter thumbs out. This is just one, right? It's not two stuck together. No. I know I had the two thumbs out. Seriously? I know I did. 
Oh my gosh, this manicure is cursed. Cursed. Yeah, I only have the small thumbs left. I know I took out both. Did I like pick it up with another strip and throw it away somehow? Cred monkeys, what did I do? I know I had both out. All right, did I? did I do with it? There is no way. It's just gone. I know I heard it out. I realize I'm a little crazy, but I'm not that crazy. I know I had it out. Well, hopefully one works. Usually I need both thumbs, but maybe we can make it work. Let's try it. Extra carefully cutting this so that we leave as much as possible behind so we get the greatest chance of having enough for the other thumb. So I think we're going to we're going to name this Manicure Cursed. Last one, I um, did a couple hearts on my thumb and it looked like lovebirds to me. So I named that one Lovebirds. We're going to call this one Cursed. That's it. It made it far enough. It's not like in the middle. There's a tiny bit. But it's you're not going to notice it, so. So we will call this the Cursed Valentine's Manny. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to put some top coat on these babies re-top coat these other ones that I already top coated and I'm gonna do that off camera because we are at 37 minutes on the second half of this video so I don't remember how long the first part was but I think it was pretty long so I'm gonna end this because I think it's time to just call it a day right so there she is the cursed valentine <laughs> I hope you enjoyed listening to me suffer and had a little laugh with me. Um, and I will see you guys for the next one. Love you. Bye.